You are up to no good. You are no good. You are no good. Yep, you are up to no good. Shop cat. The welding kitty. The welding shop kitty. You're doing a good job because you know what? I haven't seen any mice up here. None. None. So I'm going to get you, camper van, Kevin. Keep rubbing my belly. I'll get you. Kevin here. We're back at the welding shop today having a few issues with uh, the new platform that uh, we had built. What's happening is that when it pulls forward I've got too much play in it. So what we're going to do this angle iron right here we're going to put another piece of angle iron on the other side and then a piece here on uh, this expanded metal so that we're going to bolt it. And what that will hopefully do We'll keep it the platform from going back and forth. I don't think Shopcat got a fair, fair uh, video the other day. He saw the Wolf Pack and uh, he skedaddled. Hey, Shop, psst, psst. come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Now, in all fairness, this is the sweetest cat. Come here, Shop. There are no mice at the welding shop. And his name is Shopcat, S-H-O-P. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? We talk about he is a sweet sucker. Let's you pet him and roughhouse him and everything. But he saw that wolf pack and he took off the other day. Aren't, they, aren't, aren't you a sweet cat? Say, so, yeah. Yeah. Let's go up here and see your daddy, all right? So tell me, Rodney, what's to keep that cat from getting in somebody's car and getting out of here? I don't know. Just keep my eye on it. It already happened, you said, huh? Yeah, one time. I guess they brought him back, scared they'd have yeah. to feed him. Yeah. He's a sweet sucker. Yeah, the guy that brought him back don't like cats that much anyway. <laughs> I almost thought about taking him myself. He was so sweet. Shop probably end up coming right back in as soon as he got a chance. Yep. Yep, Rodney, he, he takes care of the welding shop here. He keeps the floors clean and uh, keeps the grass cut and keeps it looking good around here. Full time job. Woody. Why'd you name him Shop Cat? Just kind of come to you? Just stay around the shop. That'll work. This is where he lives, though. <laughs> Between my. This place is my place. How many cats you got total? Uh, feeding about 10. Good gracious. You need another job. Pay for your cat food. Yeah, he knows I'm finna go home again in a few minutes. So he's, he's ready to get fed. get fed. All right, now he's going to drill the pilot holes for the new brackets. Rodney's, Rodney's kind of sweet on the wolf pack. They all know him real good. <laughs> yep, Rodney, uh, Rodney is shop cat, the welding kitty's daddy, but these dogs just love him to death. Would you, I think you're an animal person, Rodney. What you say? Yeah, probably. They love you, don't they? Okay. Get back, Tuck Tuck. Man, he's a handful today. Get back, buddy. Every time I pull in, Rodney, I, I look around and he's in my door petting the wolf pack. Here's the new brackets that he, he's put on. Had one over here as a stop, we thought it would be enough, but it wasn't. So we put another angle here, and these tabs will come up and the bolt to run through to hold it tight. But he got me all fixed up at the welding shop. Can you see the bracket? 
in the wing nut there to get it loose. Did that on both sides. You see it there? I gotta take it home and paint it now. What you finding, Dave? I think it's the card. You gotta pull the whole thing out. I gotta pull the whole thing. No, it's the gas valve's opening and it's you know it's trying to light, but it's it's just not lighting. It's not lighting. It's, it's, it's gotten bugged or something. Like that. Yeah, David thinks it's full of bugs. Yeah, it seems to me they could put a fan in there that's a lot more energy efficient, David. They just chew up the batteries. Yeah, but I guess they figured you're not going to be running with the battery all the time. Boondockers do. I'm up here at Town & Country Campers uh, in Winterville, Georgia. And I thought I'd show you this B plus RV while I was waiting for David to do my uh, my furnace. This is a 2001 model. It's got 105,000 miles on it. New tires last year before it went to Key West. It's lacking cosmetics, but uh, with a little bit of work, it doesn't need a whole lot. I see I saw a Jenny a hose sticking out on the other side. Let me show it to you here. Someone's replaced the flooring. 105,000 on the engine, like I said. Tripped to Key West last year on new tires. Just set out and weathered. But it, uh, it would clean up. You can look up Town and Country Campers on the internet and get their telephone number, Winterville, Georgia. I'd consider it for 10000 The inside's fairly nice. It's on consignment up here, so I thought somebody from my channel might be interested. The separation in the floor is pretty common for this type of material. I saw a pipe for a Jenny, but I don't know the hours. Wet bath. He said the couple just wanted something bigger. Don't see the hours. I'll make, go back and look outside and see what we can find. So anybody looking for a inexpensive Class B? This is a Chevy or a GMC one ton. Not too terrible, just needs a little bit of work. You guys may remember I gave 15000 for mine. Let's see what kind of Jenny it's got. It's an Onan 4000, but I didn't see an hour meter. There you go. Wash it, clean it up, put some stripes on it. I believe you'd be good to go. Price is right at 10000 that's for sure. Trail light by our vision. I'm back over here, this little Shasta that was locked up last time. This is a reproduction. Oh, look at here. This is on consignment as well. I believe this one's, let's find read the sign here backwards. 16 is what they're asking. I can stand up in here. Now I would consider this, if I wanted to tow, a towable, how nice. You guys getting all this? I haven't shopped these, so I don't know the price, if this is good or not. I think that uh, Class B was a real good price, though. Nice. So 2015.
find the bugs. A lot of people never got to see the inside of one of these things. Dirt dauber nest. That'll do it. Yeah, great. I think I'll invest in a screen. David's doing a bench test here. Hook up the propane in a battery, going to fire it on the bench. He's got his bench test set up on it, I'm going to fire it. Came off. And there's the heat. Dirt daubers. He's going to check and see if he's got a screen that'll fit it. If you ask me, I think it should be. Uh, Done at the factory, but mud dauber screen. Yep. Would have saved us a bunch of trouble today, wouldn't it? Because on the outside, I've seen those. Gotcha. Let's hold on with a spring. Two springs. Looks aggravating. It is. All right. David saved the day again. We appreciate it. I'm going to end this video here. You guys take care. Bye bye.